So the last step in this tutorial series is to actually set up the, the driven keys on this guy. So I'm just going to do one at a time. I'll just do one for the demo and then fast forward through the others and then just show you the result at the end. So uh, let's do the first one. So this is the first uh, position that we've got. And if we have a look at lip up, that's the corrective sort of cranking on there. So uh, what we need to do is go to our driven keys window. So that's animate set driven key set. Uh, there we go. And by default, it's good we've got this blend shape uh, selected so it's loaded it straight in. And now what we need to do is select the, the lip up fix. That's the shape we're going to be keying. And we need to come in here to the joints. And the joints is really what we're worrying about here because this is the, the key, that the uh, joint here that's been animated in order for this fix to happen. Otherwise, when we rotate the jaw back down again, that blend shape will stay on and it just looks a bit odd. So what we want to do is uh, key key that that guy there as the driver. So the driver, and you can see which attribute we're actually rotating on, it's uh, rotate Z. So let's click on rotate Z and we'll just hit key there because uh, I can now switch between these two by just clicking on them. And the blend shape is uh, should actually be on one, sorry. So let's hit key there. Uh, and then when we come down again, you can sort of see that's a bit puffy. So we actually want to take that off and hit key again. And now what you'll notice is a little bit of squash and stretch happening in that nose when that comes up. And this is all automated now, so you can sort of see as it comes up and down, uh, there's a nice stretch happening. So that's really as easy as it is. And I'm going to go through all the other shapes now and just do these one by one. We'll put in fast forward and then I'll show you the result at the end. Okay, so now that we've finished this, uh, putting all the driven keys in, it's a fairly fast process once you sort of work out the, the factory clicking method for it, the factory line sort of method. Uh, we can close down this set driven key window. Now there's one thing that we do have to check, and I've shown this in the other videos, but we'll just do it again, is you do need to go into, by selecting the mesh itself, we need to go into our driven keys, which are all these guys here, and just frame those. And you'll see by default, because I have auto tangents on in my preferences, by default it does flatten the tangents and then flatten them down, these S curves. But of course with driven keys we don't want that, we actually just want them to be straight. So the best one to click is just spline. And that will make those curves all nice and straight for us. So now that we've done that, we really can come in here and uh, and have a play around with the face because the face is really done in terms of that jaw setup. So uh, I'm going to come in here and hide those extra faces there. Let's just have a look at our fixed result here. And what we can see is here when <coughs> we've got this uh, bottom uh, lip. This is the face. You see that nice squashing and stretching sort of happening there as it comes down and up. Uh, we can grab the, the top jaw which is moving everything and move it up and see it's sort of like squashing into the nose nicely now uh, all that sort of stuff we've got the chin which uh, sort of squashes up nicely and then sort of squashes and stretches a little bit in that sort of a, a movement um, and we've got each of the individual uh, sorry the individual things and you can sort of see this how it's sort of squashing as it comes down there really nicely into the chin and the top lip as well so that's this guy here so we see that sort of coming up and the squash and stretch that's happening in that little part of the face and additionally we can actually I, I love to select both of these guys uh, and we can sort of see that sort of squashing and stretching action sort of happening uh, keeping note that we can actually rotate these uh, in different ways but if we just come up and down you can sort of see that happening quite nicely there from the side you sort of see that sort of working and getting a lovely rubbery sort of face happening uh, with very little work. Um, you could go in here and create out heaps of joints for the face and do an uber like super uh, uber controlled rig but I find just with uh, with blend shapes on top of this uh, three joint jaw setup to get so much dexterity out of the, the face uh, for such little effort that uh, it's really the way to go if you're doing personal or small uh, company type of projects where you need to get the, 
that um, thing out the door. If you're working on a feature film that uh, maybe in, in, pros in having animators animate on it for more than a few years, uh, for sure, go and do an Uber face setup that's highly technical. But uh, just with a couple of, t a couple of joints and some blend shapes, we can really get some very nice uh, shapes and a lot of dexterity in the face very quickly and easily.